Guardian Creeves on a Pangale. And that, that should help against the net later on in the game. And Absolutely. And, and once again, you know, the catch, it's not amazing for the side of forward gaming. They don't have an insane amount of catch. More than last game, though. Definitely. They have Song of the Siren, and they also have uh, DP, who, I mean, with Spirit Siphon, is it's a pretty substantial slow, but she also usually picks up, like, a Yule Scepter um, at some point in the game. So, I like it. Yeah, I think so let's see if Ford Gaming are able to redeem Highlight Die Chad. High fives galore coming out from VP right now. They're having a good time. This is team morale. If there's anything to be learned here in the Dota community, it's this is how you should start every game. Five man smoke, high five everyone on your team and just run to the enemy jungle. And the question is, are, are they going to find someone or once again, are they going to be exactly where it burst last time? Ooh, they're going to run your war mid. Okay, so this is mid Naga Siren in the safe lane Death Prophet. We saw this a very similar situation yesterday where they put the DP in the safe lane. And it paid off really well. It was uh, Secret who did it. They put Nisha mid on the, I believe it was the Morphling. Yeah, th that sounds right. 30 seconds yeah, so they put Nisha battle. mid on Morphling and then they put mid one safe lane once. on the Death Prophet and we're going to see something very similar this game as well. And uh, so why but why are they doing this? Do they feel that the Naga Siren lane the against the Pangalea wouldn't be as good as the Death Prophet? Were they fearing the Death Prophet AA matchup? What matchup are they trying to avoid? Side of forward. It's really hard to say. Like they, these lanes, like no one really knows where they want to go. I want to say they're just avoiding the AA versus Death Prophet, because Death Prophet's never gonna really get on top of a hero with Spirit Siphon, or on top of like an AA with Spirit Siphon. He just sits super far back, casting Chilling Touch. Whereas the Naga Siren isn't really going to get bullied out of this lane super easily, and she's just going to accelerate her farm just with levels. So this is... That's kind of like how you make this trade, I guess. Yeah, one thing uh, I do have to point out is that VP, they got down this uh, deep ward. This was the point of their smoke. So they actually scouted out this uh, location, I think. They mm -hmm. know that CC is up in this top. But obviously... Lane swaps don't really favor you because up against the Chen, you're not quite able to get Bot lane. Highlight I just getting tag teamed. This is not a good start for them. That's your first blood going to Ramsey's. Snaking might turn yeah. this though. Uh, Roger, five quill sprays, but held in position snaking. One more and it does actually hit up the high ground. But I guess you're happy with that really. Getting the first blood is uh, very worth it. Yeah, and, and Bristleback's not a very, like, tanky hero these first two levels. He really does need, like, his level 3, because once he has level 3, he at least has level 2 Quill Spray to kind of put out enough damage to, you know, persuade you not to chase him. But the, his level 1 and 2 is pretty weak, so finding a kill on the support there, forcing Snaking to blow all of his mana already, puts him in a really good position. Yeah, obviously he does have those uh, two mangoes, but you're totally right. He had to use all his mana to pick up that could kill over the and it means he has really nothing left in the lane. He is just getting crushed. And now with the tag what a body block by Ramses. That was so good by Ramses. He, he gets the stun, walks around, blocks the only path that can get him to his tower. And that's, like we said, Bristleback. He's not super tanky the first two levels. It really takes um, that level three, sometimes even the level four, and in this tri lane, uh, it might take to the level four. Yeah, so one nice thing there is Pilot Dai using the re recall, making not having to spend the, the 50 gold that he gets from his free TP. Yeah, no walk of shame there. <laughs> no one versus you are in this mid lane. Very interesting to see. <laughs> you are does seem to be winning the matchup. And again, how oh, yeah. this bristle back, the tag team, they're on top of Roger is the one to <laughs> actually drop. Where did he go? Back. Yeah, I mean, that's that's Quill Spray damage. He was just, he wasn't sitting a lot of health to begin with, and the crit from Wraith King proc like two Bristlebacks, so he took like three Quill Sprays in a matter of like two seconds. Yeah, that that really hurt the toss. Asha doing pretty okay here in the top lane, considering he's been left all by, all by himself. Yeah, CC and C, like Spirit Siphoning and pop, like Pangler just isn't going to happen unless he gets silenced because he just swashbuckles away. But... I feel like CCNC should be able to farm relatively well. 
Highlight Ty with his level two starting to be annoying. Ooh, Pasha's in trouble here. They have the Spirit Siphon on him. You're right, there's no Smudge Rock before 11 seconds. MSS does have the Bolt Smash, and it is going to connect with Pasha, and that crits up not quite enough. MSS, will you get the last hit? No, oh Pasha my gosh. survive with so that close. And He just turned around, assuming he had got the kill with crits. Then he was able to get away. Unlucky. CC and C. Bottom lane. All right, Snake King, is he in trouble or is he just Rampings baiting? Them? already has four stacks on him. That's six. They pop the sticks to survive for a little longer. They need to be careful. Snake King will go down. Rams is living on a sliver of power. <clears throat> wow. Fighting up against his bitter back is just so dangerous. You can see how low everyone is in this bottom I mean lane. And they're, they're the ones with the tri lane. He went for the two points in the bristle back to try and survive here, which is crazy. If he once he gets this level four, I don't think this this is gonna work out for for VP anymore. The, the mid lane is going a bit in favor of no one. I guess this is what you expect when you have a a ranged lane bully, bully like no one. But actually, you are seems to be winning uh, at least in the CS. Just. Uh, sorry, at least in the experience department, which I have no idea. Yeah, this is the power of Naga Sire, and you can clear jungle camps at the same rate um, as you clear the the jungle, or I'm sorry, as you clear the mid wave. So you just go, retreat to the jungle off every wave, spawn the illusions, and then clear it out as fast as you can. Yeah, uh, in the top lane, they rotated Ramses as well as Rogers in top lane. They did connect with the shards, but Ramses easy set up with the stun. Just giving the time to get the tag team on top of the Death Prophet. Even That's a the great rotation. Cyphon was enough to save him. And it allows them to secure both runes top, which is really good. Yeah, it, it looks like they just Radiant's didn't want the matchup against the Bristle any longer, but... Naking, he's back. So MSS, it feels like we haven't really seen the impact of this roaming Earth Spirit. Do you think that's uh, a possibility, just uh, a, a reason for this is because the Naga Siren was mid? You know, he doesn't really have that kill potential like you would have had with the Death Prophet. Yeah, that, but also you wanted to make sure Death Prophet's lane started like fairly good. Because I don't think she like has any real way to serve like bully out the Pangolier and secure her lane. Actually, there's an A blast coming bot. CC and C gets clipped. Is he too, is, I mean, I don't think he dies from this, but Pangolier is hunting him. Oh, if that Smosh Rocket had connected. Oh, he needs to be careful. You can't heal for a little while. Oh, Pasha, without any points in the shield crash, and now sees He's got the purge creep. Pilot Eye has the purge creep. There's no way. <laughs> Very close from Pasha. Yeah, just overextended a little bit, trying to get that kill on. Is going to be able to survive. But meanwhile, in the top lane, snaking. He might be in trouble once again. Up against three heroes, he's all by himself, but he is A OK around. He's, he's fine. Very low. Yeah, this is this is where Bristleback becomes an issue. Uh, a blast coming top again, but he might not connect. Not going to. I do like what he's doing, though. No one, you know, just continue his farm and then trying to help his other lane global present. You are is playing on the wrong side of the map. I think he forgot he's on oh. Radiant this time. Pasha kicks back, doesn't have to swash rush for one second and it's not going to come up in time. <laughs> yeah, he's just farming the enemy jungle. This is like he was playing the anti mage Sorry, and it I seems he's sending the, the illusions to cut the midway periodically as well. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. There's another A blast coming out, yeah. Yeah, they TP in. CC and C is in trouble. It is a real trouble. MSS rolls forward, but doesn't really matter. No one able to play one kill. MSS gonna TP out. There's nothing to stop this. No level six. A nice kill there on the, well, side laner for the side of forward gaming, you know. I wanna call CNC a mid laner, but that's not where he's been this week. What a, I mean, this is, no one's being super, like, I want to quote unquote active from the mid lane, right? You pointed out he just throws the AA blast around, but this time he actually TPs in to, to make sure that they secure this kill onto CCNC. So, very good play by him.
Yeah, talking of how active he's been, he is going for another active item in this Rod of Aether. You know, just give the side of VP even more catch and even more control. I feel like a broken record. Not the right Naga Siren there. So VP try, tries to find him in the jungle, doesn't really get the right one. I mean, there's only... Uh, how many Nog? There's, there's only four. You know, what are the odds that you're going to get the wrong one? Naking is... No, he's, there's no way he's... In. Nah, he's super tanky. He's fine. And Lane Noir is here. Noir, they have found the real one. No one. The Ice Blast is on cooldown. They need a little bit more damage. This illusion is going to offer quite enough. Oh, yes. Honestly, starting to see the power of what this AA can achieve when he has farm. I really like what Posh is doing. Just cutting the wave here. He's pretty safe, but in, oh, he just pulled in your war. Is he have rolling? I mean, he has rolling thunder, right? He should be fine. Yeah, they do have the net to hold him down a little longer. Roll for. Oh, oh my are God. they yeah. actually going to chain this? They don't have the size. Let's <laughs> get it off just in time. Oh, my That's God. That's funny. Uh, he tried using that, I think, like four times before he actually got it off. But not quite enough control here from. Or, or in another essence, not enough damage yet from. So, no one. Rod of Atos coming out in about 600 gold now. And that's probably when we can expect to see him make another rotation, even to this spot lane. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. I have no reason the two supports on the things. side of VP are smoked up right now, trying to find a kill. They get a good ward here in the jungle, but it actually gets seen pretty much right away, so they know that this is happening. Argus Siren for the 10-minute rune. It's going to find it for now. No one. No, just in time. I take it back. The invis rune. You are is able to get it. The, you, you know what? You know what uh, got me? It was the change from daylight. You know that isn't exactly on the 10-minute mark. Mm -hmm. There is there is some dueling wards happening in the jungle, and they actually find Solo. He might be able to... Eh, no, nah, not enough damage here. It's, especially with Roger turning up. They're not going to have a go at him. Ramses, uh, I think the full Midas is on the Courier? Or is it... Yeah, the Midas is on the Courier. I like it. Going the phase boots first, I really do enjoy it. It allows him to kind of contest lane a little bit more against his bristleback since she is so difficult to deal with but bottom lane that's another kill for cc and or on cc and c rather and pilot die gonna get caught as well yeah pasha just had really nice control of that modern thunder pilot die with the help of roger they're just able to get these two quick kills pasha made the got that double stun with the rolling meant roger had time to tp and that didn't even require the global presence of no one's aa block must i repeat myself yeah, no one Snaking. has that ATOS completed, so he instantly TPs the top lane. It's gonna use it. They have the AA boss, but is there enough damage? Ram There's no. He didn't have mana for cold feet. He's actually gonna survive, and now CC and C's here. Ooh, Spirit Siphon not gonna stay on target. Wow, you are in the mid lane. <laughs> HP is able to TP out the safety. That is the fun parts of Naga Siren. You always have Song of the Siren. You can always try and guarantee yourself a safe escape. Yeah, Pasha, I think, has completed his javelin. He's going for the full blown Maelstrom before... ...before he goes for that Agnes Scepter. How do you feel about the Agnes Scepter for Tango? I, I feel it's something just so cool to watch. It's pretty strong. I do think Maelstrom is by far his best first item. I don't think there's any hero... I don't think there's like any situation in which you don't go first item maelstrom on Pangolier. I mean, a very. I have seen you know a bunch of times when Pangolier's a farm that they they actually just pick up the javelin. They don't go for the full. Yeah, that's true. I have seen that, but I don't think he's really suffering. And maelstrom offers a lot in these fights, and a lot he's gonna need it to clear the Naga Siren illusions. I'm a little bit confused for the Ags though. I like you pointed out earlier, Guardian Greaves on him seems like it could be very beneficial for his team. Solo has been forced to use his ult on himself. The shards, they don't block out snaking. Solo might be in a bit, a bit of trouble. They have the Atos, and I think Solo should live through this. But they roll forward Emerset. No one. He does have the AA block. He does connect on top of Emerset as well as the Snowball. But CNC is here. They have the control from all these centers in the mid lane. 
They're getting very low. They found the Pangolier on the back lines. The Spirit Siphon is not going to kill anyone except for the Pangolier. He went down snaking around CC, trying to get away. Does have one point in his ultimate, and he might be forced to pop it. Yes, the last hit from CC and C is going to take down that first life of the Rage King. It is deep in right back in. Yeah, now with a little bit more mana to his name. Well, trying to take this tier one tower, it will successfully get it. Exorcism, it is wearing off pretty damn soon. So, oh, oh, so oh, should be looking good. Yeah. Load up, but they're not going to be able to get the kill that AA got, and they are going to kill this death of it. She will eventually fall to the highlight die. That they did lose Roger for that, and now Ramses, they know he doesn't have another life, is being slowed down by the nasal goop. They buy back a Roger, meanwhile, on the back line, they find MSS with the AA. You are the rolling thunder. Now you are, his illusions are down, they know what one's real, they don't have Song of the Siren for a little while. Tag team on top of him, they use the heal of the Chen, but it doesn't really matter, and that was a... ...for two trade hits, with name Highlight Dyke, not gonna get away. Roger, with that snowball just in time, and it looks like that is gonna be a four for two trade. What a massacre here in this mid lane. So they did buy back on Roger, right? But they managed to get every, like, important kill that they needed. Obviously, Bristleback still survives. Snaking... It seems like Ford Gaming has like target focusing issues where they just aren't really entirely sure which hero they want to kill. And CC and C did a really good job forcing them off the tower in the mid lane, and it just seems like they stuck around too long. They could have just caught in the tower and backed. Yeah, they they, they overcommitted as X had ended. You know, they successfully took a nice fight where they took first life of the Wraith King, where they took down Pangolier, but then they continued looking towards. I think Ramsey did a very good job of baiting them in, maybe thinking they could get this prize kill on the Wraith King without his ultimate. Yeah, Snaking very difficult to kill, I think, for VP. He's got the Hood of Defiance completed, just gonna rush the Pipe of Insight. I think that's absolutely essential to this game. This Ancient Apparition is doing so much damage in these fights. So if he can pipe up his team, maybe help them survive the uh, Ice Blast, these fights might go a little bit different. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about is when Bristle Black. Is, is there anyone who you think is a really good carrier for a like the only person I feasibly can think might get it is uh, Ramses. I think even then you don't even want to do that. I think you just ignore Bristle Back and try and kill the rest of his team. Like I think you're better off doing that than building a Silver Edge on Wraith King. Yeah, Roger. I hear a recall. Uh, Roger here in the Radiant Jungle, and yes, they did call in Snaking. He still has his Snowball, but it's not going to be enough to get him off. There on top of him. Nice charge block on three of them, but now he's held in. He's going to buy a lot of time. They've committed the Magnetize. He has the Snowball to buy as much time as he wants. But eventually, I think he will... Wow, that tag team damage was a fair amount with the War Response, but he does eventually go down here. Mm -hmm. You are farming the jungle here. Solo sees him. Song of the oh. Siren, though. Unfortunate that he got the disarm there. If he got the silence, I think they might have been able to kill him. Mm -hmm. If he got the rolling thunder off before the song of the siren, they definitely kill him. Yeah, it's, uh, I was gonna say that this uh, the rolling thunder is something that's really good against Radiant's Naga Siren. She tries the song attack. TP out, and you just start the rolling Radiant thunder and roll into the song, and it does fortified. absolutely nothing to you. Mm -hmm. Strange to say, well, Radiant's mid lane, VP trying to take the first tier one tower there now this this game i feel like vp is on a little bit of a timer right like they are running an ancient apparition mid versus for gaming who's got this bristleback death prophet and naga siren core so i feel like the longer this game goes on ford should have an advantage but we'll see they played really well last game on vp and they hit their timings in it pretty much right on spot so see if they can do it again uh, I think VP, they'll probably get more aggressive on uh, Ramsey's break. That's the massive item there, Wade. But, you know, it it's like we said during the draft. We use the word inevitability. That's what it feels like if this game goes to the... So in this bottom lane, Pasha has successfully Ooh, managed to... Oh, Pilot, I just immediately killed. Yeah, he just gets found by no one, Roger, and more than enough damage to kill him. He was just up there, kind of finding some jungle creeps to take with him. Yeah, Ramses is applying a bit of pressure to this uh, tier one mid, but the Naga Fire Illusions are just going to be enough to to stop this pressure of the skeleton. 
Yeah, I was just talking Radiant's about Pasha, and he seems to have really done attack. very well after this lady. Got involved in a bunch of kills, definitely got his farm, and he's, you know, well on his way towards the aggro set, almost halfway there. Um, we discussed Pasha building the Guardian Greaves, but it looks like actually no one is the one who's thinking about it side of the team. I think that's normal, right? If if you're gonna run a hero like AA mid, going the Guardian Greaves on him is totally fine. Yeah, it's, it's, and I guess that also helps with uh, part of AA's main problem is how squishy he is. The Guardian Greaves will help him just tank up that tiny bit more. He also has like pretty big mana issues just because all of his spells cost quite a bit and you usually end up going for that Ice Vortex cooldown. So you end up just spamming Ice Vortex so much in fights. So he really needs to have mana and Guardian Greaves gives him that. Just the ability to always cast mana. Cast mana, but cast Guardian Greaves for mana. You are, by the way, has the completed Mantis Fire style. Obviously, the Diffusal Blade coming out next. Then I repeat Ramses, he's, you know, he's only level 13, so there will be a period of time where if they are able to catch this Rage King with an Argus Siren, that he, they will be able to burn him before he gets that second life. Up. But I feel someone who the, you know, the side of EP of it, we're all us, we're really sleeping on is naked. You know, he's just been putting in a solid performance in that break. I have killed him twice in the lane. Just looking at how well he's doing in the farm. And, you know, he has the full on pipe to help against the AA and the Radiance. And uh, he's going to have an axe of his own. So Ramsey's completed Radiance. Uh, I feel this is the time BP will... Can we expect him to group up, maybe take an objective or at least take some sort of fight? Double A little something extra. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And not in a good way. So they've taken this tier one top and uh, unless anyone rotates from the side of full game. Any reason why they stop at this kid? I think CCNC is just gonna stay bottom, right? I mean, MSS is coming in to set up this fight, so maybe they're continuing this. Naked has the double damage, Naga Siren, probably the enemy jungle, so yeah, it looks like they're actually gonna be pushed away from the. I just noticed that Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Amazing what you like haste double damage bristleback. How do you deal with this? <laughs> you just can't. Yawar is farming so fast now. One thing I do want to talk about is CC very interestingly has the the fall over you know what I feel is more traditional. Is that just versus the Atos versus the yeah, I'd have to. I'd have to imagine that's exactly why. You also have to think about shards. Like, shard blocking is a really big deal for that hero. Like, you don't want to get sharded on, like, a cliff and then just be stuck there and unable to, to maneuver in fights, so... They're smoked up on the, in the, on the site here, though. Or gaming, trying to wrap. A good point you made, Steve. Has the force off as well as the X's and Pilot die. He does have a Centaur creep possibility for an initiation. I feel MSS really is going to fight if it does break. Yeah, they definitely just want to get the jump on no one. That's like their big kill target. The roll forward. Mm, oh, solo. MSS, he did connect onto Solo and now they're just trying to push back the Naga Siren Illusions while Ramsey team really wants his health. Yo, I was just going to go split push. As they stop Twilight Zone, making it to the high ground and now the silence is only affected on the top the AA bus. It connects over here on top of MSS, I think MSS is going to go down, but will they be able to get any more? The Bristleback, he is affected by the Radiance, but did get hit by the AA bar, so he will be able to heal a fair amount. And now CNC has turned up, so I think you just have to set up for that one kill, but you are. He's here with the real Naga Siren on the back line, but do they know this is the real one? He's getting pretty low, he goes for the song. He'll be able to TP out if they want to, but they're setting up for this fight. They really want to pick off the Oracle really quickly, and they do. Yes. They do, and now CCNC, they're continuing this fight. Snaking, he's pursuing forward onto no one. A few more of these kills, and he will go down. One more hit. 
The Aatox, the DCNC picks up the double kill there. They force the first life there for the Rage Kick, but he's slowed down by this Nasal Goo, by the Spirit Cycle, and this is going to be a second kill. Spawn Caving win a massive fight in this mid lane. This is a huge turn of events for Fort Gaming. Yeah. That song of the Siren, like Yawar, he was he was just kind of like farming in the meantime while that fight initially broke out, and VP turned their attention like, hey, let's just kill this Naga Siren song, and suddenly this fight is just over for the side of VP. Like they have no way to to turn this. Yeah, the, the song, is, you know, it allows CNC to get in a perfect position to the access to the map, as well as the rest of his spells. Uh, and, you know, we saw the AA just hunted absolutely down. And it was exactly as you said, they made the right decision to just first solo almost instantaneously. We have another fight, Roger, in silence. Up. They do have a rolling pop thunder here from Pasha. He has his action set completed, but he's stuck on the high ground, so it's not quite enough damage. MSS, I think he will fall for the ice blast, but over here on the back line, I think no one's in real trouble. Yuar doesn't have the Diffusal Blade for a little while. Solo will be able to get away from safety. And now Pasha, Yuar, he has the agency, might go down to silence. Which is, there's no oh, uh, spell coming out. Back late, but this is deja vu. Like, but it looks like the side of VP, they might be able to retreat out of this one. I feel like we just saw a fight in this exact area just, you know, a minute ago. I mean, this is this is really good. They do at least get the Aegis off of Yoar, which is really nice for the side of VP, but they don't find any other big kills. And Exorcism is going to be coming up here in about 30 seconds. Yeah, because uh, Ford Gaming, they didn't incur, you know, too many losses. Sure, they lost MSS as well as the Aegis. You know, in the next fight for them that they're going to... Naga Sarin completed this diffuse. Going to have a Scuddy B even more powerful. And this just adds to the slows. You know, Ford Gaming, they don't have that many hard disabled which have so many slows with the Purge, the Spirit Scythe, Hazel Glue, the Earth Spirit, you know. And you might not be stunned up, but you're just not able to escape from this Ford Gaming lineup when they decide to run at you. I mean, speaking of the Nasal Goo, Snake King has an Aghanim Scepter, so you now have an AoE slow being applied to all heroes around him. That is That reduces armor, so this, I, I love this pickup from him. Has and no one celebration. Guardian Greaves, but it really feels like the Amazon. You know, ever since he got that Aether. And, and I really feel this is, you know, it's not the issue with how no one's. Like but it's just. Us are playing the mid AA is that. Seems to just fall off massive cliff. I mean, he's still doing work with it, it, but it just seems like a very difficult game for a VP to take late, and that just seems like what Forward's willing to do. Highlight die gonna get caught here. They have a bit Not a lot you can do. That you're not able to get down. Yeah. A DC, uh, I, I, I was curious if that was DC. If DC, uh, he might be able to force. You know, just a nice pick off there of highlight, highlight die. You are like considered actually song, songing for that. He pump faked it and was like, nah, he's just a support. I need to save it for myself. <laughs> just let him die. He's, he's not worth it. He's not worth it. It's, it's really not. Like you actually need to save song in case you are gets caught. That's that's way more important. Yeah, and talking of you are getting caught. Uh, Roger, uh, actually he he was just zoning him back. The rest of his team, they they're more, more focused on the. Sorry, I just. Snaking is just putting in work bottom. Uh, all the, they have all the cooldowns. Are they able to kill him? They have. Straight up. Didn't actually pop. And meanwhile, there's actually another fight over here. They've found Roger. But he's going to focus. See if they are able to snake him. He is affected by the AA blast. Held in position. But do they have nothing lasting for so long? Pasha actually in front of snaking and They will finally be able to take it down. You are pop. Uh, mirror imagery. They buy back instantly on Roger. They have the disarm. Pasha continuing to roll around. The Aethos holding Naga Siren in position. Does have the song if he wants to use it. But now there's a nice silence. Death Prophet's here. Does have the ultimate if she wants. Not committing. They have the song of the siren, but it looks like it's just being used. They might be able to chase this on here for VP. Like, we're gonna have blink up in a few seconds. Yeah, it looks like they're running towards the shrine. Dire scan. Now they know exactly where they are. CC and A boss. It's giving the vision of the dark siren. Will they be able to TP away? No. No one quite in the correct positioning. Yet it looks like they're going to find Pylita. I, I mean, it's, they don't call him the sixth position. To compel another into service is to deny.
Mid lane, MSS gets found here by Ramsey and Roger. This should be an easy kill, yeah. Well, there's your crit. He's gonna fall immediately. Yeah, so BP, they want a, a fair few. Still feels like they're gonna have real Naga Siren issues. I'm not quite sure how they kill this hit. As you can see, instead of going towards that BKB that she had queued up earlier, felt the game was going well enough to be uh, get the Ags before the game. I mean, Ramsey is going to have an AC soon, and Pasha's Pangolier puts out an absolute ton of damage as well. So they do they do have ways of killing Naga Siren. It's just difficult because the way Yawar is playing, he's he's doing a very good job at making sure that he can't really get gone on. And when Song of the Siren is on cooldown, he's playing very defensively. So it really just it's Yawar just playing the map perfectly. Thank you, is such a good. The bristle black, you know, 30 seconds to kill him when it was, you know, four versus one, and you know, just in the middle of a team fight, I just go down the bristle. He's going for a lotus orb as his next item, which I really like just to kind of purge off some some crowd control. Um, the most notable, obviously, going to be cold feet, but you can also reflect wraith fire blast or walrus punch, all the fun stuff. That clears you. So for this game, you know, it, like we're in a bit of a what do both teams are waiting for? What are they looking for? CC and uh, BKB is pretty much what he wants. He has the Aghanim Scepter completed. Ooh, we're having a, a little bit of a skirmish here. Yeah, the war is punchy. just going to go into the air. And now they have managed to find and get a ultimate over onto Snake. Oh, the job. Thank you, Bristol. They have managed to pop the cold beat on a lot of damage coming out from Pasha. He is fighting from the high ground, but I think they are going to lose Bristleback. At long last, no, the song from you are. Just in time, and the AA Blast wears off, so they're all healed. Oh, setting up for a nice disengaged fight. Off it's Bristleback, but now they've been caught their own. Nice silence from the low ground there from CCNC. Holding on to the Exorcism, he hasn't felt the need to spend it yet. And it looks like they're not going to be able to get into the solo. These are the first are able to get out very easily of that Atos with the man's spell. But now Ramsey's there living for a long time. The AA Blast does get to a whole bunch of Rams who might die, but they're gonna lose you all. They managed to take down you all and no one. He's getting very low, trying to keep down. You're not gonna be able to keep you away from MSS. But Ramsey's he's living off eventually. He's a little bit more damage, but it's not gonna happen when you hit into his back here on Pasha. And now Snakey's been standing up to him and he's got Pasha's TV. So solo. Back in forward MSS. Repel kill or MSS. So you buy back on Death Prophet, but you do manage to, I guess, take the fight on your terms. It does allow them to send Pilot Eye top to get both bounty runes as well. And both bounty runes still available in the bottom. So Ford might send someone down there, but he is getting hunted by a Wraith King with an Invisor, and he is just super dead. Day <laughs> King, by the way, like, uh, I, I just have to, like, keep you know, kited that fight brilliantly, you know. Naga Siren saved his life, but, you know, as soon as he had a little bit more regen, he played that so close to the edge, but was able to live. And uh, CCNC made that a uh, successful buyback, I guess. But VP, you know, they killed off Naga Siren for what? First time to me. And now, you know, they're proving that they can win these big. Mm -hmm. She definitely needs help. Uh, I love the Scotty pickup on her, and she's going to be going for the butterfly next. She'll probably itemize for a Heart of Tarask after that. And at that point, I think she should be tanky enough to survive VP's damage in these fights. But Ramsey's is enormous. This guy has so much that he's already working with. I'm assuming he's got stuff on Courier. Yep, there's the Maelstrom. So he's going to be going for the Mjolnir as his next item. I love this attack speed build he's coming, he's come up with. Obviously, AC pretty standard, but switching to the Mjolnir at this Maelstrom now. But eventually, Mjolnir is going to be doing so much damage in these fights. Yeah, uh, and especially with all the different damage in You have Riptide, you have, have the Magnetized. You're very right about the full-on. Yeah, it looks like a smoke up here from VP. Naking. He is not the one you want to go on, but they might feel tempted to do it. He's got an Arcane Room, too. For the AA Blast, that has connected. He's going to be way less tanky now. They just need a little bit more damage. There's a nice silence by the Death Prophet on this high ground. Ramses, he is tanking all of this, so it looks like he probably will lose his first life. The Hand of God. Oh, 
by the chest. Around he's, he's managed to get out. Blink safety like of his own team. And it looks like that's going to be all that's expended. The ultimate here around he's Test trying to roll forward to catch anyone, but it's not going to be successful. And Pasha just using that uh, agony shield. Push back the side of four dead. VP, they were the ones with the smoke, but finding the bristle back is just not an easy kill. Worth noting, they did force out exorcism. Yeah, that, that is... It's hard. That's the one of the things that makes it very difficult to play against a Wraith King, right? Like, he just all in, sees if he can get a kill, and disengages pretty easily. Pasha here might be in trouble. Might be in trouble. He's already used the Lotus Orb. He used it to get rid of the Silence. But the ultimate from Solo is going to allow him to live for a little while, and he is able to blink the... So both sides still not able to get a kill on one another. Only a full advantage for the side of VP. And this net worth graph. Still not that much in favor of VP. It's been a while since I've looked at them. Gaben seems to think VP have it in the bag with So snaking in the middle. Skeleton. But, you know, you are. He's really been the standout performer. Side of Ford. He's got his Eye of Scotty going for the boss by next. And there's just no one who will be able to deal with the Marcus Siren. Yeah, they just they just rely on the magic damage to deal with her. Because there is a lot coming out from VP. Just from Swashbuckle, Wraith Kings, like, just damage in the fights. AA as well. Like, they do have enough damage on their team to bring her down. But... Seems to be the she just is such a nuisance on the map right now, and she's just walking high ground. Just gonna pressure the tier three here at VP. I, 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 I think they assume that this is just another Naga Siren illusion. Finally, Ramses does TP back, realizing he has to. Uh, realize? No. It, I think if he realized that was the real. <laughs> I don't think he really expects to get the kill either. You know, he, he can always just TP out, like Song yeah, and TP. Exactly. There's a. Uh, there's no point. But Roshan, this is Rosh number two. Um, the side of VP, are they able to take Rosh? They don't really have that much. They don't have any minus armor to speak other than, other than the AC. They have a medallion on Tusk, so they do have a little bit oh. more. Yeah. And honestly, Wraith King does enough damage on his own, honestly, plus one to, to probably take it down. But it's not easy to take a fight around the Roche Pit when you're playing against the Naga Siren. We saw just just yesterday what happened when a Naga Siren steals the, the Aegis. Granted, they were so far behind, they ended up losing the fight anyway, but it's it's pretty easy to steal a Roche on with a, a Naga Siren. Yes. Uh, so it's an AK. <laughs> This man, he is just so tanky on this Bristle Black already. Building a full on heart. I just really don't know how VP ever expects to deal with him. I mean, that's what makes Bristle Black kind of a, a fun hero, right? Like, quote unquote fun, depending on which team you're on. It's, I mean, for some reason, whenever it's a Bristle Black on my team, you know, they always feel like they're unkillable when they're not. But on the enemy team, they truly are unkillable. This is a double damage Wraith King. I don't know if you want to fight into that. He has the Mjolnir completed as well, so he he is going to be doing a ton of damage in these fights. But you Top are. lane though, you are. Yeah, exactly, he's just continuing his split push. Oh, they have gone on snaking, but I think he's just a pressure back, you know. They know they can't really commit that much. You know, they throw out a little bit of harass, but all by himself he's able to push back. And, and they're baiting, honestly. Oh my, Yuar just doesn't care about this TP. Snaking is just running them down now. Dyer's top tower is being attacked like nobody's business. The thing is, the Snake King can always like bait them because he has the Lotus Orb. So there's not really a good chance he, that he'll be able to, to go down. Yuar taking the tower because Pasha's joined them back mid. Yeah, Pasha left the top lane. Couldn't deal with the Nagas Hiron and they're forcing out the Glyph. And yeah, the rest of the team, they're trying to get back. But Snake King, he's just being very annoying, trying to keep Roger in position. But with that Shards block, he was okay. Nagas Hiron goes for the song, but they... Uh, he didn't even use it just in time. Apasha there on top of him. He was affected by the Ars Blast, and I think this might be the death of Yuar. Especially with Ramsey, the hand of God is not going to help, and Yuar not able to claim that tier 3, and it actually cost his life. And now Snake King, he might be next to the agenda. of the job. They flash! CCNC is here with BKB. Yeah, 
You can see that four star. They're probably saving the life. Chris was back, but they fly back out for a few while. Highlight obviously able to pull him right back into the fight. So now it feels to me like VP, they, they have a set win condition. They kill this Naga Siren. This, main, this game could very much be theirs. But CCNC committed the exorcism inside the pit. Ramses, he's not afraid of walking in. He realizes what's going on. And they want this Naga Siren. They know that she has no buyback. That IA Blast didn't actually connect on Zolfa. But Ramses is just whacking away on her. Snaking the AA Blast. Connected on him. They managed to get the Aegis on top of their death off of CCNC. But their exorcism is already being used. So Guys, one, that's pretty bad. That's a Naga Siren there on top of her. Toss into the air, Naga Siren. You are. Is he going to live the Radiant Spun? No, Rogue actually the one with the last kick. They might lose the first, second life here of Ramsey's, but it doesn't really matter when you've lost your Naga Siren. MSS. The, the Kuba Cape is actually saving this Rage Keep for so long. He will eventually go down, falling to Snake King. Pass on back lines on top of Pylai Dai. Pasha just passing out the damage. Swashbuckle after Swashbuckle. No one on top of MSS. Will he eventually fall to that? Able to stop him getting away. But they fight back over on Pylai Dai. Snake King at full health in this fight as well as CC have to consume Aegis. But you took the Naga Siren and all it cost you was your rage. That was so... Like, it was so good for Ford because they do actually get the Aegis onto CC and C in the beginning of the fight. But as you mentioned, they got the Naga Siren out pretty early. And she's a huge part of their damage. I, she, like, she's just not tanky enough yet, unfortunately. And doesn't get cheese, doesn't get the Aegis. And actually, I don't even, was there cheese in that one? I don't even remember. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it is. Okay. Second Roche. I, I don't know who it's on, actually. It's on, it's on CC and C. So he has okay. the cheese and Aegis. I wasn't sure if it got picked up by someone on VP. But the Ice Blast missed, so he got very lucky that it was just barely off the mark. But they just still have they have enough damage between this Pangolier and the AA and Wraith King to really just slowly bring down the Naga Siren in these fights. Yeah, Pasha just with that shield crash off the shield. Agnan Scepter. Absolutely. Oh, it's just it. bounty. You know, very soon you're going to be able to pull up your mana. It's not that far away from the defuse. Yeah, that defuse is going to be insane. So Ford Gaming, it does feel like they're slipping behind, you know. And I really thought they would be the ones winning the late game, but Ramsey is over for Wraith King. He is King, sure, very strong with this model. Especially once he gets that re Have all that much. Yeah, the Pasha and Ramses are, are putting so much damage out in these fights. Snake King as well. Like, he's in a similar situation as Pango, where they don't really have a lot of ways to, to lock him down and kill him, and he just runs around causing havoc. But Pangolier offers a whole different level of control. Oh, approaching that point of the game where I think we're talking about level 20. About race team. Anyone else? Who's game changing? To be honest, I think Ancient Apparitions might be one of the best. The 700 AoE Cold Feet is pretty insane going into late game. If you, it, you pretty much can guarantee you're going to hit multiple heroes with that, at least two or three. And that's that's pretty devastating in fights. I think for Bristleback, neither of his are, I don't know, I would say like neither of his are that important. I imagine he goes the Warpath damage per stack, but I really don't know. Uh, he, he's already so surprised. Any sort of uh, spell life steal. And, uh, he actually, I think he almost has the money for it. Yeah, I don't know. What is DP? I think most of the time you see the Exorcism Spirits just because it's so much more damage. The Exorcism Grants Haste is really nice in this game just because there's, there's so much going on in these fights. But... It's really hard to turn down eight more spirits. It's like a whole nother level of your old. So, uh, the top has what? Oh, looks like you can see he's actually been the one. Yeah, it's a uh, Bertie's pro that might uh, have a crack at him, but they want to catch someone else. Fire's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, it was really nice. You are actually cut top wave and middle, so. If VP's not showing in any of those areas, you kind of have to assume they're smoked. And they actually pull CCNC over. 
Marsha actually wants to initiate, grabs an arcade route to silence, but it doesn't really matter because there's a Lotus Top. The A Blast, it only connected on MSS, so it's not really that much. Marsha inside the rolling thunder. I don't think he's really looking to engage, he's just using it. Out past Solo. He's seen, he's on top of him. Solo, the defusal blade, does have a ghost sector of his own, but I don't think he's able to live with it. And on the back lines over here, we have a bit of a fight today. Taking down Solo inside the road pit, and now snaking. He's over here on top of Roger. Roger goes into Snowball to be able to fight a bit longer. Ramsey is going to lose his first life very quickly. Archer in the rolling thunder once again, pumping out damage, and after damage with that kill cover. But they're probably going to lose the second life over here of this Rage King. He's not healing enough, and now part of the rolling thunder is over. He's trying to pump out as much damage as he can. Now snaking. They have managed to take him down, they've lost the Sirens, they've lost their Rage but he fights back instantaneously. Parker, all the damage in that fight, a full-blown triple kill for him. The amount of damage that Pasha is doing in these fights is insane. And Ramsey's too, like, he manages to survive for so long, but just those two heroes alone are pretty much the entire damage side of VP, like, almost 10,000 just on Pasha. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the Wraith King, 9889, Pasha almost. <laughs> that was, that's absolutely insane. They get a full team point, they get a buyback from the Bristleback. Bristleback dying for the, the, you know, one of the first times it felt like he was absolutely immortal. A lane of racks. I think, I think this said, is more than a lane of racks. They don't have buybacks. The, this is. Radiant Middle Barracks. Yeah, they know it's time related. They know there's a, still a minute left without Naga Siren model. Actually, 30 seconds. <laughs> Right, that's just two lanes of Barracks, and this puts me having a firm... They're gonna go tier fours, I think, maybe, like... Do they, do they really slow down here? It's gone onto the snake, if they kill this Bristleback, they know he doesn't have any fire, he literally... ...make it back into the strike, he's getting very low to the AA, but they take him down! That's a hundred that's a dino. seconds without a Bristleback! Oh, living on a sliver of health is this Earth Brick. So they do have the Naga Siren, but they know, know there's no death from it. They can assume she has no buyback. She would have used it earlier. And Naga Siren has come back to the world of living, but it's not enough. Ramsey's just laying into these tier fours. He has scored gaming off this game. I mean, there's there's no stopping Ramsey. He's he's just clicking buildings, and they're desperately just using Song and the Siren to stall this out. Wait until CC and C gets back up, but... Another 20 seconds, we will have the exit of I'm not quite sure it's good. Initiation of Ramsey. He blinks in the AA block, it doesn't connect with a nice portal, but Naga Siren, it doesn't really matter, she's not tanky enough. She pops a Manta Star, but she's dead once again at 84 seconds. So they might they have call it. but they have no Naga Siren. And board gaming, they are gonna lose this game 2-0. VP, great fight in the end of this game. That game was fairly even for a while, and then two fights, and then it's just over. VP, like these heroes just came online so fast. Pasha and Ramses are just absolute monsters.